this video is about the difference between the uh, standard deviation and the standard error. So a common question, um, when do I use the standard deviation and when do I use the standard error? So I've got uh, an example problem. Let x denote the number of points Kevin Durant scores in a game, and let's assume that x is normally distributed with a mean of 31.4 and a standard deviation of 8.1. This is actually accurate for this season so far. Two questions we could ask, or we could ask a lot of questions, but uh, two questions we could ask. Uh, one, what is the probability that Kevin scores more than 40 points in a single game? And question two, suppose we look at a random sample of five games. What is the probability that the average number of points he scores exceeds 40? So the difference between these two questions is here in question one, we're looking at a single game. In question two, we're looking at a sample of five games, and we're looking at the average of his points in those five games. So here we're just looking at one observation. Here we have five observations. We're taking the average of those five observations, and we want to know if that average exceeds 40. So to answer question one, it's pretty straightforward. You just use the standard deviation, the mean, uh, use the information provided, and the normal calculator. So again, we said that the mean is 31.4, the standard deviation is 8.1. To find the probability that x is greater than 40, just use the normal calculator. So 31.4, 8.1, this changes to greater than, and type in 40. So the probability is 0 0.144. So in a single game, the probability that Kevin Durant scores more than 40 points would be 0.144. To answer the second question, again, we're asking about an average instead of just a single observation. So now you want to use the standard error. If you're looking at just one observation, use the standard deviation. If you're looking at an average, you want to use the standard error. To calculate the standard error, you can use this formula, sigma divided by the square root of n, where sigma is the population standard deviation. This is given. N is the sample size. Um, in this problem, we're looking at a sample size of 5. So 8.1 divided by square root of 5 is 3.62. That's the standard error. So you want to use this value now instead of the standard deviation. And again, you can just use the normal calculator. So we're saying that the sample average is normally distributed with a mean of 31.4, a standard error of 3.62. So going back to the normal calculator, I'm just going to change this to 3.62. The mean stays the same. Um, we're asking the same question. We want greater than 40. So compute 0 0.009. So that's 0 0.009. And then a quick summary. So the probability that a single observation was greater than 40, 0 0.144. The probability that an average of five observations is greater than 40, 0 0.009, you see this number is less than this number, and um, the idea here is that as n increases, as the sample size increases, we see less variability. So if we were to take a, simple, a, uh, a sample of size 10, this number would become even smaller. If we were looking at a sample of size 20, it would become even smaller. And that's, uh, I guess that's all there is.